Hi guys, some of you have asked me uh, quite some time ago to do some small videos on the uh, equipment and tools I use when I'm repairing or diagnosing some stuff uh, around the amplifiers, pre-amplifiers that I'm reviewing or some other electronic devices that I repair uh, in my home. Because it happens that all my family and all my friends, when something will break, they will always come to me asking if it can be fixed. So the latest addition to my collection of uh, tools uh, is this uh, FNVC LCR P1 uh, transistor tester. Uh, it's not, not, uh, not only a transistor tester, it basically tests everything that's uh, in the semiconductor class. Uh, meaning uh, diodes, uh, gates, uh, regular transistors, uh, MOSFET transistors, and a couple of other things. Uh, it's also capable of testing uh, inductances, indu sorry, coils, uh, capacitors, resistors, etc. And uh, what was uh, important for me, uh, it's also able to test surface mountage uh, components using this kind of uh, adapter here uh, uh, but i tell you more about that uh, in a few uh, minutes okay so basically it's very small uh, it's uh, battery powered and you can charge the battery using usb-c cable uh, this uh, also doubles as data port because you can capture your measurements to your pc and you can upgrade the firmware on this uh, tester which is a nice feature um, it's uh, able to decode uh, IR protocol transmission in uh, LIC standard, uh, which is a nice gimmick. But I actually have used that one uh, when I got my uh, Blu-ray um, drive. I got it second hand because it was, uh, it's actually a very good Blu-ray drive. Uh, it's uh, Cambridge Audio 752BD, uh, but it was for sale without the remote. Uh, and that was the reason why price was so ridiculous, uh, something like $100. So I got it, and then I retrieved the codes from the remote uh, from one of my friends and uh, encoded some uh, general purpose uh, infrared uh, remote. And I can have and use BD752 with, uh, for $100. But uh, that was not the main story. <laughs> okay, so uh, so anyway, I'm using this one uh, mostly to test uh, transistors and SMD components. Uh, how does it work? Uh, you need to use set of connectors here numbered uh, from one to three. So for two leg components, like I don't know, capacitors, resistors, you'll use two uh, connectors uh, with different um, descriptions, meaning one and two, one and three, three and two. Uh, you cannot use one and one, obviously. For three legged components, you will use one, two, three, uh, and it doesn't have to be the first set of uh, connectors here. It can be one here, two here, and uh, three here. Uh, it gives you some uh, flexibility for larger components. Uh, yes, for the diodes, uh, you'll be using cathode and anode uh, connectors over here, and you have additional set of one, two, and three, three uh, connectors here. Uh, if you'd like to replace that adapter with SMD adapter, you just need to pull it out like that and insert the SMD adapter. Uh, take note that there is a key, so you cannot insert that the other way around. And it will not go all the way down, because then it would be very hard to remove it. Uh, so basically for us SMD components, you can see the descriptions on the board here. It works the same way, but you just place them lying on the adapter, and then you're turning on the tester. So let's remove that one. Let's insert this one. Uh, what's in the box? Uh, box. Uh, in the box, uh, you'll get the charging cable. You'll get the short manual. Let's uh, show you the. Yeah. 
So if you want to read the details uh, on the functionality, just, yeah, that's, that's it. Just pause the screen. Uh, yes, it has colorful display, so you'll see how it actually works. Uh, and it's a good idea to keep the box uh, in this case, because box is small, and the thing is that you'll need a place to store adapter, and you'll need to place somewhere, some space to place uh, three um, probes, uh, which are actually very handy, because you can connect them to the adapter here and here like that yes and then let's power it down yeah nothing connected at the moment uh, let's pick this one yep my bad let's connect it like that yep. and in order to test the device you need to just press test uh, if you'll be testing Zener diodes, you need to press this additional button for the higher voltage. It takes some time because uh, it uh, automatically identifies the type of the component and displays important parameters. For example, this is a capacitor. Uh, it gave us uh, loss percentage. It gave us uh, equivalent CVL resistance for this capacitor, which is quite high because it's a electrolytic one although it's uh, Nichicon uh, gold series, fine gold, and it correctly identified the capacitors as capacitor as one microfarad capacitor. Okay, I have another one. This one was uh, removed uh, from one of my smaller digital to analog converters. I was replacing it with something else. So let's connect this one. And test. Test in progress. And we will learn that this German VIMA capacitor is in fact 97 nanofarads, uh, which is uh, useful information because it should be 100. So if you would be needing to pair the capacitors or resistors or anything, this is a quite handy device. Let's check this resistor just for fun. Let's test. Ah, yes, that's resistor 43.3 kilo ohms. This one should be 43. Okay, and another one because I just want you to, sh to see this nice colorful screen in action. Transistor. We have a transistor. Let's use the first three. Yep. And... And we learn what type of transistor is that. We learn the parameters of the transistors. And we can see the recognized connections. Because the numbers on the display will, will correspond with the numbers on the uh, adapter here. So all in all, it's a very small and simple device, uh, but it's very handy, especially for measuring uh, small surface mountage components, uh, because you don't have to keep them in your hands. Uh, you just apply them on an adapter and you can check what they actually are all types of uh, coils, inductors, all types of uh, ca small capacitors, resistors, but also semiconductors like transistors or diodes. And I think that's it. As you can see, it uh, powers off uh, after a minute or two minutes. And that's actually quite nice feature. And uh, Yes, the most important information why I got this one, except for being uh, genuinely useful. The price. It was $27. Yeah, delivered. So, quite a nice price. And I think that's it. Uh, the last time I was using it uh, was to repair uh, 
PlayStation console of my nephew. It was it's a very small, very cheap device, but uh, when you have it, you will really appreciate what it does for you. Okay, that's it, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, I think that's almost all of my tools, basic tools. There will be another video on my screwdrivers because, again, a couple of you guys asked me about um, accommodation for set of screwdrivers with tips that will be fitting the hex uh, nuts on the uh, amplifiers and preamplifiers that I'm reviewing, which is quite important, especially because we have uh, at least uh, two or three types of uh, tips uh, for hex nuts. Highly recommend that small, cheap, and useful, all three qualities that I would be looking in the best tools. Thank you, guys.